Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today and back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the different settings in Black Desert that would make a new player's life so much easier. So we're talking like UI and basic general settings to game. Plus, we'll show you how to disable all of those stupid notifications that pop up all of the time on your screen. Real quick though, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, and you've been watching the videos on the channel but still haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. It helps to grow my channel and I would greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into it, and to avoid clickbait, let's hop right into the very first one that I put right in the title, how to disable those notifications. To do that, navigate to the settings menu, and this is actually very similar for the console version of the game as well, just your menus look a little bit different, but you're going to want to hit up the general settings tab, in the general settings tab, navigate to the alerts tab, and from here you will see all of the different notifications that pop up on your screen that you can disable. The ones that you're definitely going to want to get rid of right off the bat are other people's loot slash dream horse, other people's life skills, enhancement success, and enhancement fail. Those four ones are the ones that pop up the most often and you'll want to get rid of those. Marketplace and horse market work exchange can be useful if you're looking for certain items off of the marketplace or if you're looking for a specific tier horse or a specific worker in a specific city, but otherwise you're going to want to turn those off too because they pop up a lot and they're pretty annoying. The only other one that I'd recommend turning off and is the main reason why I probably will never get sponsored by Black Desert is the pearl item suggestions. You don't need to be spammed every time you're playing the game about different things that you could buy in the game store. But at this point, go ahead and hit apply and that will get rid of all of those and after you're done playing through whatever was in queue, which is probably going to be like another five minutes of it, it will stop and it'll no longer pop up on your screen, which is pretty awesome. So now let's take a look at a few other settings that are actually really cool that you probably wouldn't even know about unless you went digging. The first setting tab we're going to go to is world map, which is located right below this alerts tab. And in this world map setting, there's actually a few quality of life things. If you always find yourself whenever you press the M key on the keyboard, rotating your map to 90 degrees to look down on it, you'll want to change that setting that you just saw me hovering over under general settings world map to 90 degrees, pretty straightforward. Otherwise you spawn in it like a 70 ish degree angle on the uh, surface there. The other cool settings that you would never ever mess around with are right here. So you can set it to camera direction, which will lock the map to the direction your character is facing. So if I go ahead and hit apply on that, confirm, press the M key, you see it opens in and spawns you in looking in the direction your character's map is facing. So if I went ahead and look over this way, press the M key, it rotates the map, spawns it in and like moves it in gradually the little R interp too, which is pretty darn cool. It's actually useful if you're trying to get your bearings on where you're looking on the map if you're a little lost. And in that same tab, you can do fixed direction, which always faces it to the north. So it'll always fix it to the north when you open it and it will redirect yourself back to it. So if you're a little lost and need to figure that out, those are some settings that could mess around with and help you find your way. Now under the same general settings tab, if you navigate to the miscellaneous tab, you will see the option to change what the guide arrow looks like. So you can get the arrows that the game comes with default. You can put a line or you can put a little fairy floating in front of you. Those are kind of up to your personal preference, but it's a setting you might want to change. The real setting that is important that you do change right here though are these navigation paths for land and water. Setting this for smooth on water will keep your boat from driving crazy paths, which is pretty cool. And on the land side, if you set it to exact, you have a better chance of not getting stuck on staircases. If you're smooth, you might try and curve into it and get stuck on it and completely mess everything up. So those are two just important settings to make sure you have set for your auto navigating in your adventures on Black Desert. Now hopping down from the general settings into the interface settings, another setting you'll want to do is under the gamepad interface option, and it is use gamepad. This might be completely counterintuitive to you, but the reason you want to do this is because on mini games like the fishing mini game, instead of having it come up with WASD on the keyboard for the buttons you need to hit, it will come up with arrow keys. So just to show you what I'm talking about, I have use gamepad selected, and if I go to catch this fish, when the mini game pops up on the screen, it is arrow keys. It's still WASD, but it shows as arrow keys rather than like the letters. So I went ahead and set the setting away from gamepad mode to not gamepad mode, just to show you the difference here. So if I go to try and catch the fish now, it is the A, D and whatever keys. So it's a little bit harder for some people to grasp. So it's a setting you might want to use. It applies to other things in the game as well. It basically makes WASD look like arrows instead. Now next up on our little tips list here is under the interface settings that we were just in and the UI hotkeys is the next option. This really isn't a thing about like showing you some cool trick. It's just a place that shows you all of the different keyboard shortcuts that are in the game. So if you're ever wondering like how do I get to my mail fast, it's the B key on the keyboard. So this is a cool little menu to show you all of those different shortcuts if you ever get lost or want to try and remember some of them. Now another setting that might help people get into the game a little bit easier or make it a little bit easier on their eyes when they're first starting is the camera effect setting under the camera graphics option under the display settings sub menu over here. 
but the one that will make your life a little bit easier is the overall camera effect setting. There's a lot of different vibration, blurs, and all sorts of things that happen when you're attacking in Black Desert or just generally moving in the game. By setting it to zero, it disables the entirety of that, which doesn't make it as pretty of a game to look at, but it will help you to focus on what you're actually trying to do and make it a little bit easier on your eyes. Obviously, when you get more accustomed to your class and want to start making it look flashier and all that, you can just turn the setting back on, but when you're first getting into it, it might help to disable that setting. Now jumping into the performance setting tab, I'm not going to go too crazy on the graphics and textures. Obviously, if you lower the graphics and lower the textures, you're going to get better frames per second. Pretty darn straightforward. But the menu that I do want to hop into to give you a little overview of what it does is the optimization tab. So I was messing around with this the other day to try and figure out everything that these do. Upscale will give you a huge boost to your graphics performance, but it will also make the game look like doo-doo. If you're already playing on lower graphics settings though, if you hit the upscale option, you really won't notice it. I actually kind of stopped noticing the difference around the medium to slightly high category personally, but it's entirely up to your eye and what you can catch. So if you're already down below those settings, you might as well pop up upscale to give yourself a little bit better performance. Now the next one that's a big surprise to a lot of people is the low power option setting that I always keep on. I keep this one on because I'm always recording videos or I'm live streaming or I'm doing a whole bunch of different things on my computer and I like to keep it checked. But if you're trying to squeeze every bit of performance out of Black Desert, make sure you have that disabled. Likewise, performance optimization, you're going to want to check on. So this is going to use up more of your memory, aka your RAM, to boost in-game performance. When I ticked this setting, I noticed about a 20% increase in the amount of RAM that my computer was using to run Black Desert. So if you have some more resources that you can dedicate to the game, you might want to do it. But like I just said, I'm recording all the time, so I don't keep this one on. Another setting that can help you is the character optimization setting. If you are struggling to load in large cities, if you check that button, as well as check the hide other adventures option, it'll help to improve your performance in a city. Now the last set of settings that I want to show you how to adjust here to help make your life a little bit easier in Black Desert is the user interface. If you press the escape key on the keyboard and navigate to edit UI, you will be brought to the edit UI interface. Wow, go figure. So from here, there's all sorts of different things. You can move them all over the place. Pretty straightforward, but there's a few settings you may want to make sure are activated. The first one is this mount icon in the top left corner of the screen. There's a lot of videos that I do that involve the mount icon toolbar that pops up up there, and I have to mention it in every single video to make sure to turn this on. Sometimes it gets turned off by default for some unknown reason. It shows you your horse's location, it shows you your workers, your pets, it shows all of your information about your different sort of side projects in Black Desert, that it's always important to keep that open. And another setting that is super helpful for a newer player is the Action Combat Guide. It's over here to the right, so just to tick that on and show you what it does, if I hit the Save button down here, save it to Preset 1, sure, it shows you some of your most popular, most used skills, and their button combo right on the screen, which is pretty cool if you're just starting to learn a class, you can learn a few of your different buttons that you can do. Now beyond that, whenever you're casting abilities, they're going to pop up in the left corner of your screen, so you'll start to learn what your different abilities are called as well. So the left side of your user interface, if I just go ahead and press some buttons, you'll see that it's popping up the different text of the different skills that's running right there to the left of your character. So also good to help you learn the names of your different skills, what you're doing when you're doing them, and to help you find them in the skills menu. So if you're wondering, okay, what is, what is this blooming skill that I just did? If you press the K key on the keyboard, go to your menu here, you can type in blooming, and you'll see, oh, okay, this is my blooming skill. These are what the different things are. These are the damages that they do. So it's a super useful system to help you learn your class. And then once you've got it down pretty darn well, you can just disable it from the edit UI menu. By clicking that, super simple, save, enter, save to a preset, and confirm it. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. These are a bunch of different settings that a beginner should totally mess around with before they get started with or soon into their journey in Black Desert. If this video is going to help you in Black Desert, do let me know in the comment section below and also make sure to leave a like. And once again, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please consider it. It helps to grow my channel. And once again, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, the next YouTube video, or wherever I happen to see you. Nice.